Welcome to the Nightly Five podcast with Ben O'Shea. He's prioritising Australia, I think, because he's got a great affection for Australia. He was educated there and has been on so many visits to Australia and will want to be there um, as king. It's the major, you know, probably the most important um, uh, Commonwealth realm in the, in, in the world, and I think he'll want to do that very much so. So my understanding is, yes, he will do Samoa for the Commonwealth Summit, and before that, he'll do Australia. King Charles and Queen Camilla will visit Australia this year, despite his ongoing cancer battle, according to Sunrise Royal Editor Rob Jobson. Speaking with Nat Barr and Matt Shervington on Sunrise this morning, Jobson said he had confirmed the news via exclusive intel. The King is set to attend the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Samoa in October, and Jobson said His Majesty will make a stopover down under first. Jobson added that the tour will be extensive, covering many major cities, but it's scope will depend on the Australian government's plans. Earlier this year, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese hinted that the King was planning a visit to Australia, but the King's cancer diagnosis and treatment had appeared to throw that into question, given that he has stepped back from some public duties. It will be the first visit by a reigning monarch in more than a decade, since Queen Elizabeth II visited Canberra, Brisbane, Melbourne and Perth in 2011. And it would be one of a long list of visits to Australia by Charles, who has travelled to the country 15 times in an official capacity. His most recent visit was to open the Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast in 2018, and he also visited the Northern Territory at that time. Queen Elizabeth II, in case you were wondering, visited Australia 16 times as reigning monarch. The Queen's trips would often last a week or two and take in at least a few states and territories and even some regional centres.